Yeah, it's, re it's recording. Yeah, yeah, it's recording right now. Some more clubs. We'll just see how it does. That's nice. Especially when you bring it him. Find it, Pepper. Find it. Find it. Where are we going to go? Come on. I'm going to go kind of let her work. Find it, Pepper. About on that ditch. I know it. It's, yeah, we crossed the ditch. And if we get just in a line and walk back, I think we got a good chance. <laughs> this is where I found the guts. It, I think it was on that trail right there where you found them, just back some. Yeah. Yeah. Find it. Yeah. Yeah, you found them right back here, Pat. On this trail. Right here? Yeah. It was like the green stuff you get out and you see how the stomach bag was. Find it, Pepper. Yeah. Nah, I can't do it. You want to go that way if you keep hitting briars. Here we go. Like that way. Huh? So let's do it like that way. Yeah. Right. Jeez, if we find her, it's gonna be a pain to get out. Right. Do it like that way. Down the bay? Hmm? Find it, Pepper. Find it, Pepper.
big guys right here. Get out of that. Get up. Seriously? What did you say on the tree? Oh, that's good. Right here. Get out of it. Okay. She's like rubbing herself in the, in the freaking poop. No. Stop. No luck pepper. Does the lighting still look pretty good on it? Find it, pepper. Put you on pepper. You're in one spot. Do that, yeah. Something in there? Can find it. The original spot. I don't know how they ever got an old spot.
I think if there was a deer in that, she'd be going back to it over and over again. Yeah, I, yeah, exactly. Take her back to her Take her back to her store. It said she, she shot her. She's just playing now. Huh? Yeah, I she had went into there and got on the spot, but so they don't think I can't even do it. But I think if there was a deer in there, she would have gone back to it. I thought that deer would have just laid up somewhere halfway close and we could just walk through and see it. You want me to carry your jacket? I don't even know, buddy. I know the ditch. She was following that ditch line, but that was right after she got shot. Going. I don't know if that's where he went. Oh, yeah. Never know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dude, did I, I didn't walk this path out. I walked that one out. I just wonder if she tried to get back to her ear. Pepper. Pepper here. He's coming. Pepper. Pepper here. Wait. 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 Wait.
spot that we have to get to that kind of thing. And again. I feel like Jones is suit and suit now. Find it. Find it. I don't think they're this far. I think they're right here. Because I remember there's a tree. Yeah, we saw last night. Yeah. This is where it was. Before that. Pepper. Yeah, find it. Find it. You need blood. Find it. Look at all the little bones. Come here. Look at this. That little bit bones in it. Oh, yeah. Or some kind of rodent or something, probably. Mm -hmm. Beth, come here. Find it. Find it here. That's grass pepper. Hey, come here. Come here. 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 Here, pepper. Here. Find it here. Find it here. Find it. Check, 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 check. So we went to the first deer that we needed to track and did not have a whole lot of luck there. Um, that deer was shot earlier the previous afternoon. So while we were there, you heard some shots going off and it was one of our other members. He was over at a different farm and shot at a deer. He's an older gentleman, so he came out to the clubhouse and uh, got us and asked us if we'd be willing to come over and help him track the deer, uh, knowing the landscape for that area. I figured I need to try to take Pepper and let her try again in that area. So we get over there, we locate the first blood. Um, I get Pepper on it. And we send her into the cutover. I'm kind of walking in there as well. She's a little bit in front of me. And we're staying on pretty good blood uh, for a while. Um, but as you can see from this footage, it is extremely thick. This is about a three-year-old uh, cut over at this point that they've replanted pines into and these pines are now just about head high you've got a bunch of weeds a lot of briars um, you know a lot of other things that are growing as well 
and it's just really hard to track a deer through this. Luckily, we were still finding good blood. Um, Pepper was kind of staying, staying on it as well. And as we kept walking through here, uh, we get to a point to where the blood kind of stops. You know, like I said, it's so thick in here. There's no, there's a couple of trails. That's kind of what we're on here to start off with for tracking this deer. Um, and unfortunately, Zach's a little bit behind. I wish I had made get him, got him up there at the front with me to kind of film film what was going on. Um, but we get to a point to where the the trails there are several trails that go in several different directions, and I can't find blood. At the same time, Pepper kept going up ahead of me a little ways, but I could hear her collar jingling, and she wasn't going you know far. She was going a little ways up in front of me and stopping. I'd call her back, and she would go right back to where she was before. So I'm thinking, good chance the deer might be up here. This is really the first two deer she has tried to track. The one earlier, there was zero blood on, and it's hard for a dog to track a deer without blood. This one, as you see, we've got pretty good blood. So and knowing that Joe's a pretty good shot, this deer should not have gone real far to begin with. It's just a matter of finding it inside of this thick, thick brush. So I finally you know, stopped trying to call her back to me and just follow the sound uh, to her collar. So that's what I was attempting to do here, um, was making my way up to her to see, as you see, there's still, still a decent amount of blood we're still finding. Uh, but at this point, I think Pepper is already on the deer. So just a matter of working our way up to her, you know, getting through this thick stuff, getting up to where she's at to see if she has the um, the deer or not. And sure enough, you see it's real, gets real, real thick. You know, they're trying to make their way through. The reason why I'm doing a voiceover track here is that Zach forgot to turn my boom mic on, my shotgun mic on the camera. Otherwise, you'd be hearing this in live action. So I'm just kind of narrating, you know, what was going on here for you. Our new Canon M50 is working great. Um, I suggest everybody check that out. There'll be a link in the description of this video. Go down and check it out, and give us a you know hit the subscribe button for us and a like, um, and check it back often. You know we're gonna be bringing uh, as much video, many as many videos as we can, as often as we can. Uh, we got a trip to Arkansas planned uh, for early December to go duck hunting, so hopefully we'll be getting some footage of that as well. So right now, like I said, we're still working our way up, you know, still finding some blood. I think right here is where the blood had kind of stopped. Um, well, you see some right there where he's at. I'm probably up about 20 feet in front of him. Believe it or not, we've only walked about 40 yards at this point. Like we haven't walked, I mean, if that far. It's just so thick and so slow of going, trying to walk through this stuff, that it seems like you've walked forever. So let's just keep watching and see what's going on here. There's Joe. You know, he's looking. Oh, that's right. We had told Joe to kind of stop where we had found the last blood at. That's kind of why he had stopped, I believe. That was the last place we had found blood. And I think right now, I think we had actually gotten up. I would gotten up to where Pepper was with the deer. Or pretty close to it anyway. And as you tell, one of the guys has a shotgun with him with buckshot just because sometimes they, these deer, they will jump up and run on us. Um, so we want to make sure we've got a way to, uh, you know, put them down humanely and ethically. So we always, when we're always, when we're tracking a deer, we always go in um, with with a, a gun with us so that we can take care of it if it does decide to, decide to jump up, which doesn't happen very often, but it can happen. All right. Yeah, I think Joe's gonna let Zach. I know we're still okay. Th this is where we got to the point to where we had lost blood. So I sent I sent the other Zach. So the boy with that there, you can see an orange hat with a gun. That's that's another Zach. My son's name is Zach. He's the one holding the camera. So this is where we had gotten to the point to where we had lost blood. Um, you're trying to figure out which way the deer went from this point. Um, 
You know, it gets it gets really really confusing when everything looks the exact same when you're inside these cutovers. And as you can tell from this, everything looks the exact same. You know, there's a pine tree, there's a broom straw, there's you know weeds. You know, every way you turn, everything looks the exact same. So it's very easy to get turned around in these cutovers, especially when you're searching for a deer. So I believe the idea back that you know that I wasn't on new blood yet. And I asked them to you know, kind of stop right there where their last blood was, continue to look around, see if you can find any. Um, and I believe right here I yelled back and said, hey, I got, Pepper's got the deer. So everybody's starting to move up now to where to where I am with Pepper. She did a great job. You know, she, she, was, she, she was on it. I kept calling her back off because I wasn't sure what she was doing. Um, and that's kind of what you do. You know, call them back and they go back to the same spot over and over again. Uh, tends to mean tends to be that they are they are on that deer, and as you see, these little weeds that got all these little white things on that keep flying off. Um, you basically just inhale that stuff because this is like you you know the, that that explodes every time you hit one of those bushes and it just goes everywhere. So, not a very comfortable uh, comfortable walk through there with having to breathe breathe that stuff in. And right here, you should be able to see. Yep, there's a deer, and that's pepper. So. She was very excited, you know, deer meat, deer blood is all very good, good for dogs. Um, I wish we'd had the audio going on the camera to really catch this in, in real time. Um, but after this, we pretty much, you know, we're going to hook the, uh, hook the deer up to, to, to the drag rope. I, I, I jump on it and proceed to drag it out. And when you're dragging a deer back out from this kind of cutover, it's I mean, impossible to try to find the trails to walk on. So you pretty much just motor through. Uh, power through as best you can and get it out. Uh, like I mean, like I said, probably wasn't 50 yards to the cutover where we walked in, or to the uh, lane where we walked in, but it was not an easy walk. Uh, by the time I made it out to the to the edge of the cutover, I was pretty good and tired. Um, just from fighting the trees, you know, walking over, pushing my way through the briars and everything else, um, and, and getting that done. So. We'll, uh, we'll come back here in just a minute. 